What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Bespoke Gentleman. Uh, don't forget, y'all, before I do this little quick little video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're watching on Facebook, go click on the link below and go to my channel, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment. Those three simple things. Doesn't cost you anything to do. Subscribe, like, and let me know. Give me your opinion, good or bad. I want to know. I don't need you to agree with me. I just want to hear your opinion. But anyway, I want to make this video because... Um, I really care for black families because I understand black families is how we're going to get to where we want to get as black people, right? But oftentimes when I'm saying what I say about what's going on in the destruction, destruction of the black family and the issue in the black community, a lot of people see it as hate, especially not just women or just not just women, but men also see it as, well, why are you so hard on mothers? And I try to explain why and what I'm saying and that. No, I'm not just really trying to beat up on them. I'm telling them why it's important. But I just came across this video and I just want to uh, play it because it's this guy, he reacting to this mother who went live and talked about how she called her son while she was in the home. He had a, a uh, he was 13, he had like a 19 year old woman in his bed. And this is a guy responding to her video. So I just wanted to play this clip and uh, again, let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's get to the video. My 13, almost this 19 year old woman in the bed with my 13, almost. Y'all go check out this video. Wild story. The craziest thing is, I was going to do a video on this exact same topic, but this video just happened to pop up on my feed, and I think it'll make a great backdrop on what I'm about to say. Before I say this, I generally mean it from the bottom of my heart. No disrespect to all the mothers out there. I know. Y'all are trying the best you can, but most boys today do not respect the authority of their mothers. Not saying they don't love their mothers. I'm not saying that they don't respect their mothers as mothers. I'm just saying that authoritative piece, most boys don't respect. Most mothers, generally speaking, are more nurturing and more caring to their sons, even more so than their daughters. And I know a lot of y'all can account for this with boys or men in your family. This is even more apparent in single mother's households. That's why it's important to have a father or father figure in the household or some type of male role model to reinforce the authority of the mother. Most boys realize this at an early age and they will start to manipulate and take advantage of their mother's caring and nurturing nature to benefit them. As a matter of fact, the first woman that a man learns to manipulate is their mother. Just the simple fact that her son had the audacity to have a girl in his room or woman, no matter if she was 19, 16, 25, while his mother was in the house shows you how much respect he had for her authority which was none at all. The only thing we really respect as boys and young men growing into men is power. We respect discipline. We respect logic, okay? We have to be taught these things and you can't do that with nurture and care. That's why it's important to have a father figure. So I would encourage any of you who have uh, adolescent boys or teenage boys especially to go ahead if the father's not in the household to go ahead and, and hand your son off to the father no matter what y'all relationship was before he's just gonna be a lot better because a woman can't teach a boy how to be a man the way a man can teach a boy how to be a man no matter how hard you try 